Have you ever wondered where stars come from, how they form and grow? Picture a cosmic nursery where baby stars known as protostars are still in their infancy. Like a caterpillar inching its way towards its butterfly transformation, these protostars too are on a journey of metamorphosis. They are the universe's infants, experiencing the earliest stages of their life cycle. Just as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, protostars evolve into the dazzling stars we see in the night sky. So, how does a protostar become a star? Well, let's think of it as baking bread. You start with dough, which is like our protostar. The dough is shaped and kneaded, gathering all the necessary ingredients, much like the protostar collects gas and dust from its surroundings, but just as dough needs the right conditions to rise and become bread, protostars need certain conditions to evolve into stars. The oven's heat, for example, is like the pressure and temperature at the core of the protostar. As the temperature increases, nuclear fusion begins to occur, the star's equivalent of the bread baking. The mass of the protostar, much like the size of our dough, also plays a crucial role. A larger mass means a larger star, often leading to a shorter lifespan due to the increased rate of nuclear fusion. Just as every loaf of bread is unique, so is every star in our universe. The conditions of their formation and evolution determine their unique characteristics. Why are protostars so important in this process, you might ask? Well, protostars play a pivotal role in stellar evolution. Without this crucial stage, the universe would lack the brilliance of stars altogether. Think of it like constructing a house. Without a solid foundation, the house simply cannot stand. Similarly, without protostars, there can be no stars. In the grand blueprint of the universe, protostars are the foundations upon which stars are built. Without them, our night sky would be a lot less bright.